Hey there everyone, what's going on? Maji here. I am hoping you guys are enjoying your last few hours of current RuneScape before the Evolution of Combat goes live, but I did want to make a little video explaining some of the things that are going to be happening as soon as the update goes live in the game, because whenever you log back in after the update, there is going to be a few things that's going to be uh, a bit different. So, first of all, the Evolution of Combat is expected to go live tomorrow morning during the GMT hour, so technically by the time this video gets uploaded, it could be anywhere between, say, 5 or 10 hours from the time that this is uploaded. Uh, uploaded, rather. Um, at, at first, when you first log in, there's going to be a few checks which will occur only this one time, and that's just to kind of bring your current game save in line with your... Uh, the new update or whatever um, but first of all all poison items will be converted into their unpoisoned versions as poison weapons no longer exist in the game next spell boxes which is a dungeoneering reward are going to be removed as well and the player will be refunded with any tokens used to purchase said reward um, players are refunded any dungeoneering tokens spent to unlock the dungeoneering versions of the pity prayer uh, the player's prayer points will be fully restored. Any items you happen to be wearing will be removed and unequipped and placed into your inventory. If your inventory happens to be full, they'll be sent to your bank. To help cover with this, all players, free players, and members alike will both be given 15 extra bank spaces to make sure that you'll have room for all of the unequipped items. You'll be automatically given any offhand version of any claw weapons you happen to have. So if you still have a pair of dragon claws, your current pair will become your main hand pair and you'll automatically be given an offhand uh, claw as well. Um, if you don't have room for the new claws in your backpack or your bank, you won't be receiving the extra offhand claws. So definitely make sure you've got enough room for that if you are interested in those. Um, disease is going to be cured instantly as it no longer exists in the game after the update. Also, PK skulls are going to be instantly removed as well since they have also been removed from the game. You'll be automatically teleported to a random safe location. One of these locations will be either you'll be teleported to say Lumbridge, the Far Right East or West Bank, to the Edgeville, to Drainer Village, to Falador, East or West Bank, to al or the Grand Exchange. And finally, the player will also be given a one-time, one-off pop-up telling them about that the uh, Evolution of Combat is now live in the game, and that their items were unequipped, and that they have been moved automatically to a safe location. And the final thing that's going to actually go into this is there's going to be a recalculation of your task totals due to some combat-related tasks being affected by the update. So, um, yeah. That's pretty much all I wanted to say about the evolution of combat. The only other thing I wanted to show in this video is this one last graphical glitch before the update happens. I saw this the other day when I was crafting in Edgeville. I don't know what it is. It looks like some kind of really, really slow traveling magic spell, but I kind of just like followed it for a few minutes and I don't even know what was going on with it, but it's just kind of one of them random things that just showed up in game. But um, yeah. So, I guess if you like the video, hit the like button below the video so it automatically will share it around with everyone. Check out one of the other two recent videos on the screen. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you after the Evolution of Combat launches. Good luck, everyone.